Hello everyone. Today in the urinary and excretory system series, I am going to talk about renal circulation and how kidney. If you haven't done so already, um, I would highly recommend you to download my iPhone app called urinary and excretory system. This iPhone app um, contains uh, course notes, flashcards, and quizzes um, that will allow you to study and memorize um, the, the, the knowledge and um, all things about the urinary and excretory system um, for your uh, courses and for exams. Um, it's completely free, so why not just try it if you have an iPhone? I have um, provided a link to a summary of my app, or you could also go to your iTunes and search for urinary and excretory system in the App Store. So right now I'll quickly go over how um, the overall renal circulation works. First it goes through the aorta and then it goes to the renal artery then to the afferent arterial then to the glomerulus the capillaries and then the afferent arterial and then the paratubular capillaries and then to the renal veins and then finally to the inferior vena cava. Filtration of blood. Due to the um, concentration gradient, blood plasma is forced out of the glomerular capillaries to the Bowman's capsule into the renal tubule. Filtered plasmas um, contains ions, water, and waste. I'll also go through the um, the tubular reabsorption. Um, so, what does it uh, reabsorb um, during this process? Well, it is um, glucose, bicarbonate, water, and sodium. In turn, um, during tubular secretion it would secrete hydrogen ions, potassium ions, creatine, ammonia, penicillin estrogen, and uric acid. Kidney is, in our case, divided into two major zones. One is called the cortex, and the other one is called the medulla. So, what does the cortex do? Well, the cortex is responsible for reabsorption of salt from filtrate by active transport. On the other hand, the medulla is responsible for the excretion of water due to salt reabsorption in the cortex. The kidney use salt and urea to increase osmotic concentration of its tissue, which helps uh, the facilitation of the movement of water out into the surroundings. The water is then being collected by the blood vessels. The loop of Henle inside the kidney reabsorbs
deamination is the process of excretion of nitrogenous wastes. It occurs in the kidney by combining NH2 with hydrogen ions to form NH3. And then it is converted into urea for excretion as urine. Concentrations of hydrogen, sodium, potassium, chloride, magnesium, calcium, and hydrobicarbonate ions are maintained to safeguard a constant blood pH. If you haven't done so already, um, I would highly recommend you to download my iPhone app called Urinary and Excretory System. This iPhone app um, contains uh, course notes, flashcards, and quizzes um, that will allow you to study and memorize um, the, the, the knowledge and um, all things about the urinary and excretory system um, for your uh, courses and for exams. Um, it's completely free, so why not just try it if you have an iPhone? I have um, provided a link to a summary of my app, or you could also go to your iTunes and search for urinary and excretory system in the App Store. And that's it for our um, tutorial in the urinary and excretory system series. Please look at our other tutorials in this series. And uh, if you are interested and wanted to study this material the fastest and the most convenient way, please download my iPhone app, Urinary and Excretory System. Thank you. Bye-bye.